everyone. Uh, today, Baruch Hashem, Yezra Hashem, we are beginning a new Sefer, the Sefer Yirmiyo Hanavi. Uh, we had spent a long time over the Nevuas of Yeshayahu, and now we are going to Sefer Yirmiyahu, which has fewer prakim than the Navi Yeshayahu, but actually has more psukim. And uh, just in terms of the basic history, Yirmiyo Hanavi and Yeshayahu do not overlap. Yeshayahu was Misnabe at the time of the Golas of the Ten Tribes, and uh, he died shortly after the reign of Chizkiyo HaMelech. Yirmiyahu Bedafka is the Novi of the next generation of the final kings of Malchus Yehuda. The Ten Tribes are already exiled, and uh, Yirmiyahu is going to be Misnabe primarily over the Chorban. We know that, of course, he lived through the Chorban Beis HaMikdash, and in another book he wrote, which is called Eicha, he actually laments and mourns that Chorban. We still read Megillah's Eicha on the 9th of Av. Uh, so the Haftarah, the, uh, the first parak we're going to read today, Yermio Parak Aleph, is actually the first Haftarah of the three weeks before Tisha B'av. Uh These are called the uh, Tulasa, the Poranusa, the three Haftarahs of Tragedy, and the first of, of which is the first parak of Yermio. Uh, so, parak Aleph, Pasuk Aleph reads, Divrei Yermiyahu ben Chilkiyahu min ha-kaihanim asher bi-anasos bi-eretz bin-yamin. These, this whole book, this is going on the entire book, are the prophecies, the words of Yermio, the son of Chilkiyahu, who was among the Kohanim. So Yermio was a Kohen who lived in Anasos, which was a village in the land of Binyamin, uh, but Anasos was one of the cities of the Levium uh, that the Kohanim and Levium live, lived in. So that tells me who he is. And the next Pasuk will tell me when did he prophesy. Asher Haya Devar Hashem love. The word of Hashem came to him, prophecy, Bimei Yoshiyahu ben Amain Melech Yehuda Bishlosh Esrei Shana Lemolchai. He became a prophet during the reign of Yeshiyahu, the son of Amain. So again, you need to remember a little bit of the chronology of the book of Malachim, because that is the historical uh, period that we're talking about. Chizkiyo HaMelech was very righteous. He had an evil son, Menashe. And Menashe had an evil son, Amain. But Amain had a righteous son, Yoshiyahu, who brought much of Chal Yisrael to Tshuva. And Yoshio reigned for 31 years. He was eventually killed by Paro, and we'll, we'll, we'll learn that story. So Yermio became a Navi in the 13th year of Yoshiyahu. And he continued to be a Navi during the reign of Yahayokim, who reigned after Yoshiyahu for 11 years. And then Sitkiyahu, who also reigned for 11 years. Right? So these are the sons of Yoshiyahu. Uh, both Yehoyakim. Yehoyakim was a great Russia, a Gefelecha Russia. Sidkiyo was a tzaddik, but he also rebelled in various ways. And the Beis HaMikdash was destroyed uh, in the reign of Sidkiyo uh, in the fifth month of Av, in the eleventh year of Sidkiyo's reign. So basically, Yehoyakim and Sidkiyo reigned for 22 years. Each of them reigned for 11 years. And Yoshio reigned for 31 years, so from year 13 to year uh, 31 is, if I'm counting right, 18 years, and then 22 years, 11 for Yehoyakim, and 11 for Tzidkiyo, so it's 18 and 22. So Yermiyo's Nevoah spanned approximately 40 years until the destruction of the Beis HaMikdash. So Yermiyo became a Navi 40 years before the Chorban, and he was a Navi throughout that period, and indeed he, be, he was a Navi even after the Chorban. So this is the general introduction to the time and place of Yermio HaNavi. 
We now begin with a specific nevuah, and in all probability, assuming that things are in order, this would be the first nevuah that he was given in the 13th year of Yoshi, the righteous king, Yoshio. And now it reverts to first person. Vayihi devar Hashem elai lemar. The word of Hashem came to me, making me a Navi. And Hashem says, Baterem ertzorcha babetem yedatiha. Even before your body was created in the womb, even before conception, when your neshama was in Shamayim and it had not yet been put into a guf, Yedatiha, I knew who you were, which means I designated you for a mission. Ubaterem teitzei rechem before you emerged from the womb. Hikdashticha, I designated you to be a prophet. Navi lagoyim nesaticha. I have made you to be a Navi, a prophet, not only to Am Yisrael, but a prophet to the nations of the world. Now, the idea of being a Navi lagoyim does not necessarily mean that you will actually talk to the Goyim, but you will give nevuas to Am Yisrael about what will happen to the various nations of the world. Now, Rashi actually brings, however, the Sifri that says that Navi Lagoyim actually refers to B'nai Yisrael, meaning you will give Musr to B'nai Yisrael, Shehem Nayhagim Atzmam Kagoyim, because they behave like Goyim who didn't have a Torah. And Yermio says, when God appears to me and says, you are my Navi, the Aymar, I said to him, Aha, alas, Hashem Aleikim, Hine lo yodati taber, I don't know how to give nevuas, I don't know how to give musar, I don't know how to give teichacha, ki nara neichi, I am just a young man, a young child, an adolescent. I don't know how to do this stuff. Just like Maitre Rabbeinu, the, the leader turns down the shlichus because the leader in his humility feels he is not worthy. Vayemer Hashem Eli, and Hashem said to him, Al Taimar Nara Neichi. Don't say you're too young. Don't shirk your responsibilities. Don't be overly modest. Ki al kol asher eshlochacha teilech. On whatever mission I give you, you will be able to succeed. The es kol asher atzavcha tedeber. And whatever I command you, you will be able to speak. Al tira mipneim, do not be afraid of the goyim, and do not be afraid of the Jews that will try to destroy you. Ki itcha ani, I am with you. Latzilacha no Hashem to save you from all adver- adversaries, says the word of Hashem. Vayishlach Hashem es yodai. So this is a visualization. I imagined Hashem's hand, Kavyocho, touching my mouth. This was kind of a transference of the Ruach of Kedusha into the Navi. Vayayimer Hashem Eli, and Hashem said to me, Hine nasati devarai bepicha. I have put my words into your mouth, meaning I've given you a capacity, I've given you a koach, I've given you a power. Rie, look and contemplate. Hifkaditicha hayayim azeh ala goyim v'yamam lachos. I have appointed you today to prophesy about nations and about kingdoms. Lintosh v'lintot. To prophesy that they will be uprooted and destroyed. Lahabid v'laharos. That they will be annihilated and decimated. But you will also give prophecies. Live not for Toa, that there will be a Geula and a redemption. So Klal Yisrael will eventually be built up and planted. So yes, much of your prophecies, both about the Jewish people and about other nations, 
will be prophecies of Chorban and destruction. But there will also be prophecies of Geula. So that was the first thing. That was Yirmiyoh's inauguration to Nevoah. Now you may remember the beginning of Yishayo also had involved an angel touching Yishayo's lips. But it was a little different. There the angel touched his lips with a hot coal to burn away his sin because Yishayo said something bad about Am Yisrael. He said, Lashon Hara. So Hashem had to burn his lips to purify him from that negative speech. Yermio did not say anything bad about Am Yisrael. So there's no hot coal here. There's no burning of the lips. There is just the touching, kind of the transference of Ruach HaKodesh. Now we have a second image. Vayhi devar Hashem elai lemor, and then Hashem said to me, Ma toreya Yermio. Yermio was shown a picture, a movie, an image. What do you see? Tell me what you see. Va'omar, and I said, he's describing this years later, we don't know exactly when he wrote it, Makel shaked ani roe. I see a staff, a stick, might be a branch. Shaked, that is producing almonds. I see a branch producing almonds. Vayemer Hashem Eli. And Hashem said to me, Hey, Tafta Liros, you have seen correctly. Ki shoked ani al devari la soso. So this is a pun. Shoked is a verb that means Hashem is hurrying up. Alacrity, to ask, act, to act with haste. The reason why an almond tree or an almond is called shoked or shkediah is because it is the very first tree to blossom and produce fruit. So it acts in a rush. So this is a biblical pun. Yermio sees a makal that is connected to shoked, hurriedness, rushing. And Hashem says, I'm showing you the image of something that rushes and comes in early. Because now, I am hurrying up the Chorban. Meaning it's less than 50 years. It's only uh, 40 years or so until the Chorban Beis HaMikdash. And I just want you to know that unless Klal Yisrael does tshuva, this Chorban is coming down the pike at a very high speed. And at some point you will not be able to stop it. So that's pun number one. Then a second visual image. Vayhi devar Hashem Eli Shainit Lemar. Then Hashem came, asked me a second question. Ma ata roe. What is it that you see now? The Omar. And I said, Sir Nafuach Ani Roe. I see a pot. Sir is a pot. Nafuach, that's bubbling over like a pot in a boil. So there's a froth and it's bubbling over. Upanav mipnei tzafona. And it's positioned that it's bubbling from the north. In other words, the pot is in the north. It's bubbling towards me. But it's the origin of the bubbling is the north. Vayyemer Hashem Eli. And Hashem says to me, indeed, mitzafon tipasach hara'a al kol yoshve ha'aretz. From the north, there will be a boiling cauldron that will bring tsarais and evil on all who live in Eretz Yisrael. And this is a reference, of course, to Bavel. Bavel is modern-day Iraq, and although Iraq is northeast of Eretz Yisrael, uh, commonly in Tanakh, we refer to it as the kingdom of the north. Mitzafon tipatach Ki, Hashem says, Hineni kore l'chol mishpachos mam l'chot tzafon 
it's as if now Nebuchadnezzar wasn't listening to Hashem, but Hashem is saying Nebuchadnezzar's armies will be essentially summoned by me because I was Geyser that he comes. That all of the different clans and sub-tribes of the north will join with Nebuchadnezzar. Ubo v'nasnu ish kiso Pesach Shar Yerushalayim. Each king will take his throne, as it were, and set it up outside of Yerushalayim to destroy and conquer it. V'alkol chamosa asave, v'alkol ari Yehuda. V'dibarti mishvatai osam alkol rasam. And I will execute judgment against Yerushalayim and Malchus Yehuda for all of their evil. Asher Azavuni, that they have forsaken me. By Yekatru Lelohim Acherim, they have brought korbanos to false idols. By Yishtachavu Lemaseyedeim, they have bowed down to the things that they made with their own hands. Now again, this is a nevua of korban, of conquest and of korban. But all of these nevuas can be changed by tshuva. So you, your mio, your job is give them the mission. I'm sorry, give them the nevua, and your mission is to bring them to tshuva. Viato, and therefore you, your mio, tezor mosnecha, gird your loins, put on your belt, get ready, v'kam to v'dibarta aleim, eis kol asher anochi yitzaveka, speak to b'nei Yisrael, all that I tell you to speak. Al teichas mipnei hem, do not be afraid of them, because they will criticize you and will even try to kill you. Because if you are afraid of them, they will break you. I will break you in their presence. The shaliach of God has to be fearless and 100% committed to their mission. And Hashem says, if you commit yourself to the mission, I will give you strength. I will give you courage. Now this is very beautiful because it's not just Hashem speaking to your Mio. It's Hashem speaking to every Yid who wants to do Hashem's will but is afraid of their environment. You make the decision that you're going to persevere. Hashem will give you the courage and the strength. And that's what Pasuk Yudchas says. The Ani and I, Hashem says, I will make you like a fortified city against all the Jews that want to cut you down. Like an iron pillar. Like a copper wall. Against any opposition in Eretz Yisrael. The Malachi Yehuda, the kings of Yehuda, who might try to destroy you. The Sarah, the princes the Kehanim, the Amorites, the regular people, the Nilchem Lacha, they will try to fight you. Because Yermio keeps on saying that Hashem is going to destroy us. And there were people that would call Yermio a pessimist. They will fight against you, but they will not win. Ki itcha oni. I am with you, Noam Hashem, says the word of God. Lahat si lecha to save you. So Perak Aleph is really the general mission of Yermio and his inauguration to the role of Navi. Adkan.